How's it going guys? About a week ago, a little over a week ago, I made a post titled Five Things to Do After You Install Linux Deep in 2014.3. Now, to give a little background, Deep in 2014 is not showing me what I wanted to show you. But distro watch will. It's based in China. It's uh I think it's a very elegant looking distro. Uses HTML5 and it's very interesting. I would I think. I think it's a really easy to use distro. I wish I think it should be a lot more popular than it really is. The uh the forms for the English forms, because they have an English form and a Chinese form, and all the all the other languages outside of Chinese, which I can, which I would assume you know, the Chinese form would have you know, the Mandarin, Cantonese, all the others. Uh, the English has everything else for the most part. The English one is English form isn't as busy, doesn't have as much. Uh, noise or information in there, but uh, I think that's I think that's due to the fact that it's not as popular as many of the other ones. When I was using Linux Mint, those forms you could type in whatever you want, and something would come up, and you could probably learn something right on the spot if you just read. Uh, it doesn't seem seem to be enough people using Deepin to be for you to be able to do that in the forums but I think it's a nice OS I mean a nice a nice distro to use going into using it Deepin looks to make their own applications for a lot of things and Deepin store is one of them Deepin store is, is a program where you can go in to look for other apps to install so you don't have to go to random websites hoping you got the right version you can do all of that you can do most of that here there hasn't been any application that I needed that I can think of that I couldn't get from deep in store that doesn't say much because I'm not very much of a a needy user most of what I do goes in LibreOffice or online through I use Chromium right now so I don't really need much I just downloaded Steam just so I can get an understanding of how it works but they have have a lot of stuff in here a lot of popular op applications it's very easy to find things you can look at the broad categories and no, games what type of games board games okay it's it's not hard to use it's really easy or you can type it in let's say you're looking for something for I don't know that's audacity you're looking for audacity you, you type it in it gives you options you go to it and it shows you this funky little icon if it's already been downloaded or it'll show you some type of arrow if you want to download it and it shows you the version how big it is how many downloads has it had an option to see the it go to the home page little summary of what it is and screenshots it's really easy and at the same same time deep in stores where you go to do your upgrades which apparently I need some and you can uninstall apps these are all the apps that I've installed or came pre-installed on deepen and if it's showing at the downloads you could do your you do your updates for anyone that's wondering you can do your updates from refresh package list and don't worry about that it's I think it's really elegant uh, one-stop shop I'm not gonna go into the post of UFW I just wanted to say it 
just be just because deep in there is Ubuntu base and for those of you that would want to want to be reminded of that or want to see about that just to throw it out there UFW of course is in there you can go into the command line or the terminal typing in there um, it's in there if of course you have to enable it it doesn't come enabled but you can enable it put it in there and do whatever you want and use the firewall uh, customizing customize and deepen it's really easy once you once you download the distro you get this screen and it runs you through a small little tutorial and automatically lower right corner shows you this that's everything that is your settings bar that is your control center there are three different ways to get to this area you have simply going straight to your lower right corner you can go to your upper right corner which shows you all the applications you have installed and like I said it's called a control center you click that it'll show up or you can click this launcher which is a rocket thing can't get rid of it by the way at least not in like I said in this version you click that it brings it all up and you show your apps again uh, for customizing your hot corners right click on the desktop from what I re recall that is the only way to change your corner navigation you have to click that and you click and choose what you want each hot corner to do all right they are looking on changing a lot of things in the new version just keep that in mind all right this stays here this can you this even stays right here or it's gone that's that's really it all right you can't move it to the side or you can't move it to the top you do have options you know you can do the smart the smart hide you can I have fashion mode just to get used to using a different interface besides the uh, what looks like windows but of course you have you had the option this is one mode the efficient mode then there's the classic mode which looks a lot like Windows, but keep in mind you don't get the start menu. Okay. And then you get the notifi notification area settings if you want to see all that mess. I don't care to. I like to keep my stuff as clean as possible. Uh, so you have the option to dock certain icons here, or you can have it so certain, I certain applications run immediately upon initializing the system otherwise you can go here to see anything that you have open at any point in time and any other random applications will show up in this I'm gonna call it a random icon I don't know what that is I have no idea what that is it looks funny whatever but going back to the control center which is what I think makes it look so easy you can click on one of these things and you can see all of your settings here all of them you want to change or edit user accounts do you want to change your display settings do you want to modify default applications for when you do certain things personalize your windows your icon sets your wallpaper network sound with sound okay show advance what you will see here is I am talking really loud because I'm getting to the yellow. Uh, lame joke, I know. Deepin doesn't give you any options to set certain sounds for when you minimize or maximize a window, when you close or open a program, when you start the computer. A couple of people have asked about that in Deepin forums and they some developers have said that will be available in 2015 okay just throwing that out there for anyone that's wondering you know what what else can it do with sound that is it you can change your microphone and your speaker settings 
you don't have any cool sounds oh well you'll be alright you can add change time zones I'm still used to 24 hour clock because it's just simple uh, for those of you that don't like to subtract by 12 okay you got your, you got your power settings you have some of that um, hibernate is not an option in deepen if I'm not mistaken I don't have that I don't see it of course I don't see it up here but I don't have that option as from what I understand many distros don't or it gets it's a really sticky issue you have many other options mouse keyboard keyboard shortcuts uh, boot menu when you start your computer you get this screen that gives you options do you want to start and start deepen do you want to start some type of advanced mode you have those options system information as I said 2014 this will be replaced within I can only guess the next couple months the developers haven't I haven't seen I haven't seen an answer for when they plan on coming out with 2015 alright that's a small little run through important apps the ones that I said on my on my posts were G Music Browser, Thunderbird, Audacity, and extension packs for LibreOffice. I wrote an entire paper. I know this makes me sound like an idiot because I didn't figure this out sooner, but I wrote an entire essay, turned it in, and started working on my second one made a mistake in a word and the first thing that came to my mind is wait a minute it's not telling me it's wrong I go press spell check and I realize okay well um, that's that's not right uh, I start playing with a dictionary sentence and realize okay well something's missing I need to figure this out what well, leaping office I never had that issue before so I had to go I had to go into I don't need to show you that anymore I had to go into the LibreOffice website and download the English dictionary and actually I also had it had to download the the Windows fonts because my professor wanted Arial and Times New Roman well or so I had to do I had to do that just something to keep in mind for those of you that you know liked everything to work elegantly and just as you wanted to right out of the box Deepin doesn't have all of that straightened out yet. They are getting really close though. Alright. Just keep that in mind. Alright. The forums. As I said before, there's not a lot of business going on inside the forums. You can see the numbers, how many threads and posts. It's, it's not a lot. System related is the has the most going on and a lot of these are dating back from the beginning of time the beginning of deepen all right and these are all the different languages outside of chinese because remember deepen is china, uh, china based but if i click on i i think that's mandarin pinyin i don't remember suddenly I go to all, all sections here and you look at these numbers I have no idea what that is and I just got some gold coins Woo! 2000 I don't know don't know 3800 1700 4600 there's a lot going on here so they also don't have a donate button I asked them if I could donate to them and they said they have plenty of sponsors which they do uh, they have a lot of they got a lot of sponsors so they, they've got support which I'm and from the websites I looked at they were all China based as well I don't know what I'm looking at right now but I like I wanted to say join the, the deep in forums simply because that's how the developers get an idea of things that they should start to prioritize or work on and 
from my understanding, they start to understand what their what the users want from them. That's that's the that's the easiest way to support the developers. As the, from my understanding, is you tell them what you do and do not like about their product, and you find ways to help them. If some other people are having issues, you can help the developers. You don't have to wait for the, you don't have to wait for the developers or admin of the forums to say something. If you know what's going on, you can help them, and that way that keeps people using the product. You're also teaching people and sharing that sharing that knowledge that may likely carry over into the next distro you use. If you're a distro hopper like I am, uh, I'm doing this video now because I'm about to distro hop. I haven't decided what I'm going to use yet. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know on the blog, here, comments, email. Let me know. Um, right now, I'm considering scientific Linux or CentOS or CentOS, whatever you want to call it. All right. Uh, the only reason I say opinion is simply because you get comfortable with seeing it. All right. If you're a gamer, I don't have Deep in Games installed, but Deep in Games is it's it can be a little daunting if you don't if you don't like seeing a bunch of stuff that you have no idea what's going on. Oh, there you go. There you go right there. All right. Let's see if I can install this in front of your face real quick. I said install. Just realize my my computer is not awesome enough to do this. Let me try it anyway. Oh, don't mind this. This is just a article talking about changing your swap file. I'm not gonna talk about it because I'm gonna be talking out the side of my neck, and I don't like doing that. So I'd rather just give you a resource that you can depend on. Okay, deep in game. Don't need that. Don't need that need this keep in mind my computer is not a super computer for those of you that looked at my stats earlier I'm using four gigs of RAM 250 SSD that's all I needed for what I'm trying to do there are a lot of games up here a lot of them that I found didn't have didn't have a English button for them Many some of the games you could play them without knowing what you're reading, or well, not without having to worry about reading. But as just as I said before, Deepin is working on making a lot of applications to become their own entire thing. It's, it's that's as professional as I could sound. But uh, hope you hope you enjoyed the the, the small little walkthrough. If you had any questions, comments, questions, uh, anything you think feel like I should have covered, anything that you feel uh, negative towards, you had some something to say about anything I said, something to add on to it. Feel free to add it in the comments below. Feel free to message, make make build a delight. I am a learner just like anybody, just like anybody else. I'm not here trying to tell anyone that. I know this because of this. I'm simply here trying to share the little bit that I do know and see what I can learn from there. All right. So if you like the video, please share it. Help it. Help by uh, sending it to someone that you think might need it. Add to it. Criticize it. I'm, I read it. I'm, <laughs> I don't get that butt hurt as long as it's constructive and you, and you teach me something. All right. Take it easy. Go live live.